Next question is from Fulvio the Castle. How effective is strength training to improve bone density? The most effective. Isn't the yeah. only way, really? The mo- there's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing that even comes close to resistance training or strength training right. for increasing bone density. Now, I know people will think do things like take more vitamin D, take mm-hmm. more calcium, take magnesium. Here's the thing with those. Now, first off, if those nutrients are low and you're deficient, taking them will improve bone density, but that's totally different. If your nutrient intake of key nutrients is normal, supplementing is not going to do you a damn thing. Also, if you don't have a signal to build more bone mass, you can take everything in the world. Your body doesn't care. It doesn't want to build. But you'll look at like osteopenia drugs or osteoporosis drugs, right? Fosamax or other. And they're, and these are drugs that actually hammer the immune system. I had, I talk about this client often because it was so profound. But I used to train this woman. She was a professor. Loved training her. Wonderful woman. And she came to me because she couldn't figure out how to reverse. She had this slow declining of bone mass. And she walked daily. She did hikes. She was active. She ate very healthy. She was a very petite woman. And she was like borderline osteoporosis. The doctors put her on, I think it was Fosamax that she took. I believe that's the one where you go, it's like once in a while, it's like there's a huge gap between the times that you get the shot. And then she would feel like dog shit for three or four days afterwards because it hammers your body. And it barely made a dent in this slow progression. She was teaching a class one time, having a conversation with her students. One of her students happened to be a trainer that worked for me back in the day. Says, hey, go see Sal. He's got a studio. She came and hired me. And we did, the, she never lifted weights. We did the most basic resistance training. Very, very basic. In fact, when she first started, it was sit down, stand up off a bench. It was uh, a sumo deadlift with a dumbbell off of a block because she wasn't very strong. It was overhead presses with two pound dumbbells. And it was very, very basic. We just slowly progressed her. She went to the doctor, got her annual checkup for her bone density. The doctor was so blown away by what happened He called me and he made a case study out of her and included my name in the whole thing. And he goes, I've never seen this before. He goes, this is, he goes, not only did it, what the best we could hope for is slowing down the progression. Not only did it stop, it went in the opposite direction. She's actually adding bone. He goes, what the hell are you doing? And I said, we're strength training. We're actually sending a signal to her body to build bone because it's it, strength training doesn't just yeah. strengthen bone it's strength it's interconnected it, yes. the musculoskeletal system it's all connected like so one tissue affects the other totally. and i just think that people don't realize that uh, that's that's integrated into the strength training your bones get affected as well yes. now if this isn't a goal of yours how important is it that you're in a caloric surplus uh it's relatively important however if you're in terms of your bone density will always be positively affected from going from no strength training to strength training. So regardless of your diet, if you go from none to, to doing some, you're going to just like you'll see strength gains anyway. Right. But at a certain point, you probably want to have some excess calories or at least at maintenance, right? If you're too low on calories, then your body's starting to take away from certain things. But I'll tell you, it's in fact, I did a uh, Lane Norton's podcast and we were talking about this. He had his bone density tested and they said, your bones are three times stronger than the average guy your age. We're seeing now osteopenia in women in their 30s. Hmm. We're seeing osteopenia in men. It was never a thing that men had uh, problems with. We're starting to see it in men. Well, society is just so sedentary. Well, yeah, yes. And how much, do, is, how much does declining testosterone play a role in that? It uh, does that play too. a role. It mm. also plays a role. But I'll tell you what, it's a big deal for people listening right now thinking, oh, what's the big deal? When you get older, if you look at when people die as they get older, you know what happens often? They'll Because of they're weak, because they have low muscle, and because their bones get weak, this is quite common, you're in your 70s, you fall, yep. you break your hip, fracture your hip, you die of pneumonia. Or you die of some other, because your body can't. Now you're in the hospital. You're in a bed, and forget it. You're so far gone that that month in bed yeah. now. Whatever movement you had before, you can't. You can't do movement anymore. No. Which then you, it's just a decline, rapid decline. No, that. when they compare other forms of exercise to strength training for bone mass, you know what you see. You see like running, for example. You'll see a little bit of increase in bone mass in the lower extremities, or nothing you'll actually sometimes see a loss of bone mass in the upper extremities. Resistance training or strength training is because it targets the whole body. You see bone mass increases in the spine, 
in the upper extremities, lower extremities, the neck, the ankles, the hips, like everything. So by far, and you don't need to do a lot of it. If, if you're somebody who's listening and you're older and you have osteopenia, one day a week, one mm-hmm. day a week of strength training, and you should see a positive effect on And this on is mass. the thing. Like, this is why, yes, walking is great. Yes, being active is great. But also, you got to consider these things, too, as you age. So you got to take care of your body. Your bones are an integral part to everything else. So resistance training needs to be a part of your routine. Totally. 